the plate in a really interesting way. Like this. Sounded cool. So we had the waiter do it again. And we recorded it this time. Like this. Cool. And then we went about flamming. So flamming is when you play the same sound over itself, out of time from itself. Kind of like this. Flam it more. More. Yeah. Now pitch it down an octave. Okay, we had our clap. So, so far we had a good kick. We had a good clap. And we had a good hi-hat. Once we had those three drums, we went about trying to find a groove. And we started with this reggaeton kind of thing. Yeah, but that didn't really sound like AJR. So we tried this doo-wop thing. And we had done that before. So we ended up with this halftime trap sort of beat. Like this. Yeah, good start, okay. Then we wanted to find a piano guy. And we wanted something that felt very emotional. A piano line like this. Hey. Then we added some bass, like this. But after working, we kind of got bored again, which seems to be a common theme in our work. So we went to the library. We were at the library in our college. And I remember I was working, and Jack was watching old home movies on his phone for some reason. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I looked for my work to Jack on his phone, and I just got so annoyed that I blurted out, Would you put your phone down? And Jack looked at me and said, Say that again. So I said, Would you put your phone down? Then we called up Arnetta and we said, Could you play that on the trumpet? Okay, we got our trumpet blowing. The beat was sounding pretty good. And as Jack often does, he sent me this voice now. But that wasn't catchy at all. So he sent me this one. That was less catchy than the first one. We were really stuck. We really needed a melody here. And then we remembered those old home movies Jack was watching on his phone in the library. And do you remember at the start of this story, I told you it took 20 years to create this song? Here's why.